Genesis 1-6 Vayomer, Elohim, Yehi, Rakia, Betoch, Hamayim, Vihi, Mavdil, Bain, Mayim, Lamayim. Vayomer Elohim starts the second day as it started the first day. Yehi is a call Jusuf 3MS from Hey Yod Hey, let there be. Modern translations typically use the word expanse to translate Hebrew rakia, but the old word in King James, firmament, I think is a better translation. It stands more in line with ancient tradition. The Vulgate uses firmamentum, Latin for something that is firm or solid, and Jerome is following the Septuagint, which uses stereomai, also something that is firm or solid. And this tradition well expresses what's going on with the Hebrew word rakia, something that is firm or solid. And of course that makes sense in context, because the rakia is going to be betoch. Betoch means within. It's actually made up of the preposition bait plus the noun tawech. So the firmament is going to be within the water. Vihi is a call jussive, three ms, from hey yod hey, with the vav on the front of it. Mavdil is the hifil participle masculine singular from bait dalad lamet, to divide or separate. Now Moses did not say viavdil. He could have used the vav plus the jussive of bait dalad lamet. He uses vihi with the participle, and this expresses a durative sense. There's a durative emphasis in the language of the text. So let the rakia be dividing, woodenly, between one water, two water. The sense in English is something like one water from another.